Hi, and welcome to Mods. We're keeping you connected to inspiring science with virtual camp discovery brought to you by Citrix, the museum's official innovation partner. Kick into high gear. Join Sifu Joe Keat for a health and fitness martial arts demonstration with the coolest weapons. This is my student Chris, one of my top guys. So when we do these techniques, this requires a lot more focus, a lot more attention to detail. So weapons training, why do we practice weapons? To learn, control, to really put ourselves out there and to make sure that we really go for it. As you can see here, there's a lot of timing, reaction, action, countering, just like regular fighting. Very good. We have to work together, read each other, make sure that if we mess up, we don't hurt each other either. Very good, excellent. Chinese martial arts. Hey, don't forget, you have to correct your student. And then we always have a traditional salute. And we salute to you, Happy Asian Pacific American Heritage Month. And now we have one of our instructors, Sabrina, and one of our top students, Kaylee. They're performing one of our basic staff sets. This is called Shaolin Staff. Shaolin is a famous temple in China, Buddhist temple, where all Kung Fu supposedly comes from. If you see this routine, the way that they're practicing requires a lot of coordination between the upper body, lower body, and paying attention to your staff techniques. There are long range, short range techniques, techniques that require the legs and waist to turn, get in some deeper stances. And when working out with a partner, it's a lot of fun and you have to work together in unison. All right, guys, I'm really excited about this next piece. This is one of my top students, Seth. We call him Sifu Seth because he's just dedicated to perfection. When it comes to learning martial arts, it's not just about the fighting and being physical. It's about your mind. The more that you train, the more humble that you get because you realize you're really not that good. You can always be better. And there is no other competition other than yourself. So every day you look in the mirror, you go, I'm going to do better because your biggest opponent is yourself. You can get lazy. You can sit on that couch. You can play those video games or you can practice Kung Fu. <laughs> so what we're going to show today is a very advanced weapon. It's called Dai Do in Cantonese. Some people call it Dai Kwan Do. But this particular one, there are so many varieties. It has a blade on the end of a staff and it has a handguard, very similar to a sword. Now in battle, this was used to cut the legs off the horses. But we don't obviously do that today. We do this to learn how to master our own body, our own mind. Because the weapon is a little bit heavy, it has to be used a certain way. So the hand has to be close to the handguard, and the sword obviously is very important for blocking and striking, but what's really important is to pay attention to the entire weapon, also the tail. So the tail can block and the, the, the blade can strike. So as a student of martial arts who's obviously practicing for other reasons than self-defense and, and fighting, it's really mastery of oneself. Having a weapon in your hand changes the game completely. So we're gonna see here Sifu Seth showcase how much control one can have with this weapon. All right, okay. let's see it. So if you look at Seth, he's using deeper stances. He's turning his waist. His eyes are always focused on the weapon. And if you can hear him, he's making certain sounds. These sounds are very important because the exhalation requires focus and power. If you focus on your exhalation, the inhalation will be just as strong, bringing more oxygen into the lungs, keeping the muscles full of oxygen, ready to go and energy. That way you can last a very long time. As you can see here, there's a lot of jumping and balance. Some of these self-defense techniques were for battle on the battlefield against people that were on horses and things. And it always ends with a nice salute showing that you come in peace. Good job, Seth. All right, here we have Chris performing Spear. This set is from Chorley Fudd. It's called Mui Fa Sub Sam Charm, Plum Blossom 13 Combination Spear. It actually combines Southern and Northern style Chinese spear techniques. The Northern style prefers to use the long range and keep the spearhead in the front. If you notice, the spear has a red tassel on it. The red tassel is to help confuse the opponent, lock into other weapons, and it has a few other reasons as well. The Southern style uses the spear more like a staff. You'll see the short range techniques, similar to rowing a boat, and even some of the terms like pa cheng mean rowing spear, relating to different things of life back at that time. 
This style of spear requires the one to change multiple angles, being aware if, if other opponents are coming in, and requires lots of body control. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Virtual Camp Discovery. Special thanks to Citrix Mod's official innovation partner for powering this series. Please stay safe and connected with mods by visiting our social channels at MODSFTL.